My name is Joanna Ponga. As part of our course in the community centre, we decided to do a film with our friends from Mullingar and Dublin to walk around the Mullingar to show us the beautiful city. This film speaks for itself and I hope you enjoy it. I've been living here in Mullingar for one and a half years. Mullingar is very good. It's different from where I came. This is where we're supposed to pray. <laughs> yeah. I was living in Selbridge. At the beginning it was a bit hard because I've been called name and it was a bit hard and then after people start getting friendly. So it's different with Mullingar. I came from Angola, it's in the East Africa and we are rich of Petrol, diamond, and fish. We had a, a war in our country. I left because of the problem of the war. It was very bad, so I had to leave a way of saving myself. You're not safe, you know? Because if you go out, they can shoot you. Because everybody has a gun to protect themselves. While well, the coffin was gone out, yeah. and I didn't know that they were all gone out, so mm -hmm. when I stood up from there, yeah. looked around, the people was gone, and I was like, this shake, because oh, no. it was the first time I ever done it. Oh, no. yeah. Anyway, she was locked down a little bit in the It's just that you stay at home for three days before you come out. So when you come out, everything is quiet, everything is back to normal. And then a few weeks again, you start again, you know, shooting and everything, and you have to lie on the floor because if you stand up, maybe the bullet can come through the, the window or something. So you have to lie down on the floor maybe for three days. Like, there is a way, like, you can go and drink water and everything. You, you eat, but you just have to be safe. I never knew Ireland anyway. So it was just take the plane and go any country. I could arrive in Moscow, I could arrive in Russia, you know, just any country, just go, have to, just to be safe. It's the same thing like if something happened here, your dad would like to protect you. He would send you somewhere, anywhere, so that you will be safe. It doesn't matter where, but when you come, you're alone. You don't have your family. And then they start calling your name. How would you feel? It's hard, but and then after you just get used to it, you don't care anymore. So you just think about you, you know, because if you start thinking about what other people are saying, you're not going to leave. I know I'm a strong woman. I came from a strong family, so I stand up for myself. <laughs> And if you see in the tape, I'm very tall and strong. <laughs> oh, the applications. This used to be all opened here, and then with all the people that was coming in drunk and disorderly. You know how to? To close. Yeah, close it all off. Here you have a lot of liberty. Uh, a ruler, yeah, really or a stick. Oh, they, do, they, they used but to do that here. It's not like they're gonna slap in the way, like they're gonna kill you, yeah. but it's just to correct you, yeah. you know, yeah. and they... Yeah. They did do that, they stopped and the they slap you on the face like? Oh no, no face. Just the hands. The hand, yeah. They used to do that in there. In my country, yeah. when you're nine years old, you know already how to do the dishes, how to wash them and wipe them. When you're 12, you already know how to cook rice, do the breakfast. And when you're 15, you know how to cook, really cook. And when you're 17, you want to go out, first you have to clean the house, just do your job as usual, and then you go out. But we only allow to go out in the weekends. I spoke to my, my cousin. And she said, I asked her, I said, how there is going, how, I explained it to her, I said, here, women's here, they're, they're the kings here, so here is like 50-50, you know. She said, yeah, it's still changing a bit now. Any fast walkers can be fit into a sit 
First you get protective. First you're alone here in this country, you don't know no one, and the male just come and talk to you. First you'll be protective. You first find out who is a you know, why he's here and all those stuff, all those questions. And then after you start saying, Oh yeah, he's a nice guy. And then we got together and we had babies. <laughs> <laughs> Three lovely babies. They're happy. They like their teacher, they have friends, yeah, they have Irish friends in school. We have our neighbor that, her daughter as well, she's in the same class with my second child. So they're happy, so they play together, they know it's each other and everything. I want them to live here because this is their country, they were born here. And I want, I want them as well to know their origin, where they came from, where their parents came from to go there in Africa as well, to see the life in Africa, how it is. Hello Andy, how are you? What are we on? Well, we um, came out um, to give those ladies, Joanne and, um, what's your name again? Amanda and Jesse. Um, just to tour around Mullingar. Very nice, very Because we're doing a course up in the community. Thank you. Nigeria, very good. Yeah, I know about it. I spent a lot of time out there. Really? I did, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do a lot of charity work around yeah. that path. Same as myself, yeah. You know, so. Yeah. See you nice to you see you. You outside now, Andy. Don't be winking at them. The one that they show on the TV, Africa is not like that. It is always uh, sadness, always poor, looking for food and things like that. But it's a big place. It's the same thing like here when you saw in the news the homeless people sleeping on the floor. The same thing like there. 